welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren and I'm really excited because today um, the video is going to be all about lipsticks. I have way too many lipsticks because when I first started getting into makeup, it's the first product that I really got into and I just wanted to buy every lipstick that I came across. So I've accumulated quite a few and I actually have this whole little plastic drawer set thing full of lipsticks that I had lost for like six months probably and I just found it and um, so I think I'm gonna go through all of these lipsticks and organize them and decide which ones to keep and try some on and just talk about them and just kinda have fun looking at all these lipsticks if that seems interesting to you then come on with me and let's do it okay so I think this might be the best setup for doing this sorry that you can see my tripod legs but this is what we're working with I think what I'm gonna do is start with this container and like organized drawer by drawer, by color probably, and then I'll go into the bag. Okay, so first drawer. This one actually is used to be one of my favorite dark purples to wear until I lost it. So I'm glad that I found it. This is the Revlon Colorburst Matte Balm in the shade Shameless. And this um, is seriously one of my favorite purples. The formula is really nice and I'm so glad I found it. This is actually an eye product. These two products are really awesome to do ombre lips with. You have the dark blue and then this light blue, so that's really fun. This is the Burt's Bees Lip Crayon in the shade Napa Vineyard, and this is one of my favorite reds to wear. So again, I'm glad I found this container because it has a lot of my old favorites in it. I think anything that I mention as a favorite, I'll set aside so that I can try them on at the end of the video. This right here is my only ColourPop product. It is a lippy stick in the shade Trust Me, I think. And I actually got it in an Ipsy bag a long time ago. Um, and this is a really nice red. I think I'll keep this one out to try on. Okay, now moving to my second drawer. I think when I had originally organized this, this was my drawer of reds. So there's a lot of reds in here. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Monte Carlo, which is one of my favorites. I'll pull that out. Here's my only coral lipstick. I think I got it like when I first started wearing makeup, so like years ago. And I really almost never wear it because I don't think coral looks that good on me. But you know what? I'm going to pull it out and try it back on. This is a red lipstick that I think I got from Victoria's Secret, and if I remember correctly, yeah, it kind of smells like candy. I'm going to try this one just because it smells so good. Oh, yes, my NYX Wicked lipsticks. I have a bunch of these in the best colors. I wanted to buy, like, the entire collection, but I bought, like, four or five, maybe? I'm sure they'll all pop up throughout this video, so I'll keep these separate somewhere. Now that I have a couple drawers free, I think I'm going to start keeping, like, purples in them or something, just so they don't roll around. Okay, now to the third drawer. Oh, look at that bright pink. Wow, I'm totally trying this one on. I think I bought this one because somebody on YouTube was talking about it. This is the Rimmel lipstick in the shade Kiss. So I think I'll try this one out to put on. I don't really remember wearing it ever. Okay, I have a couple like lip liners and stuff on the side of this container, so I'll go through those real quick. Oh, I 
I like the sleep, I have to adjust. Oh, okay. Okay, so now those ones are all kind of organized by color. Uh, I think I'll jump into the bag now. I can't reach it. Okay, here we go. Um, and I think I'm just gonna like dump these out because it's kind of fun to watch things that are dumped out on the ground get organized. So here we go. Wow, can you tell that I like to wear purples? Oh my god. <laughs> This is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. It's the NYX Matte Lipstick in the color Aria, so I'll pull this one out to put on. And here's another one of my favorites, if you can't tell by how much is gone. This is the NYX Matte Lipstick in the color Siren, so I'll pull that one out. Yeah, another NYX Wicked Lipstick, guys. Whoa, look at this NYX Cosmic Metals Lip Cream. I'm totally going to try this one on. This is mascara. This is also mascara. This is a really old MAC lipstick that was a collaboration with Lord, and it's called Pure Heroin. I think I'll put this one on. This was the only... Wait, this is my first and only MAC lipstick, actually MAC product, so I'll try this one on too. Another favorite, this is the NYX Matte Lipstick in Shocking Pink. And another NYX Wicked Lipstick, hype yeah! This is probably the only nude lipstick that I own. It's the Dead Roses Matte Lipstick from Anastasia. So I don't really know where to put it. I guess I'll put it with the pink ones. And you know what? I'll just try it on because it's the only nude that I have. Okay, now we're left with a bottle opener and like a skin product, a like face product thingy that I forgot was in there, so I'll get rid of those. And there we are. Now they're all organized somewhat by color. You can tell that I really like pink, purple, and red. Those are pretty much the only shades that I have, and I have like a million shades of each. So great. Here on top of the container thing are all the ones that I said I would try on, so I guess we can just jump into that right now. The first one that I'm going to try on is the Anastasia Matte Lipstick in the shade Dead Roses, which is that one nude color that I mentioned. And there we have it on the lips. I like this one because it's a nude, but um, it's like a deeper nude. I don't, I don't like how nudes or like browns look on me personally. I think it looks really weird. So this one's a good nude for me just because it's a little bit deeper. Next up I have the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lipstick, this pink one in the shade Kiss. That is how that one looks. It's really shiny and almost metallic which usually isn't really my speed, but it is pretty now that I put it on for like the first time probably ever. Like I don't even remember ever wearing this one. All right, next is this really fun bright pink by NYX called Shocking Pink. I really, really like this one, especially because it's like a blue-based pink, which I think looks the best on me personally. This is how that one looks. It's super beautiful. It's so bright and it really packs a punch, which I really like about it. Next up, I'm going to put on this one by NYC called Blue Rose that I actually didn't have in the organizing that I did before because it was hiding under my leg. I didn't see it, but it's really broken in there, but this has been my favorite pink for a really long time until I lost it. So I'm really glad that I found it again. Um, I'm sad that it's broken, but I'm just going to go ahead and try to put it on with a lip brush anyway. Who cares? Here's how this one looks. I love this. I think it's like, despite being so bright, I feel like it's like almost a natural pink, even though it is kind of bright. Maybe that's insane, but... I think it's really pretty and wearable. 
Next I'm going to try this NYX Cosmic Metals Lip Cream in the shade Fuchsia Fusion. Well that is really fun. It's super bright and metallic and this one, um, it feels more like a lip gloss than anything else so it's like really wet and sticky. But I don't really mind it, although I would be worried about it like getting on my face and all over my teeth or anything if I was actually going to wear this out. But I like it. I might have to pull this out more often. Okay, next I have this uh, Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in the shade Wild Rose. Okay, well this one is really beautiful too. It feels really nice and like creamy on my lips. Uh, kind of like chapstick. Yeah, it just feels really good. And I love the color. This is also another one that I'm going to have to wear more often. If you can guess the theme here, I'm going to be wearing a lot of these more often, I think. Moving on now to my only coral lipstick. This is called Tutti Fruity from Revlon. I actually think I do like how this looks on me. I might have to um, wear coral lipstick more often. I, I like the pinks and purples better, but I'm not mad at this, especially with this top. I think it looks kind of nice. Moving on to reds now, I'm going to put on this one called Trust Me by ColourPop, which again is my only ColourPop product, and let's do it. Wow guys, I love this one. I'd forgotten how much I like it. It goes on immediately full impact, and it doesn't really feel like it's going to budge. It feels not dry, but like set. It feels like it's not going to move, which I really like in a lipstick. And again, it looks nice with this shirt. Very nice. Now moving on to that red from Victoria's Secret. This one is called Poppy Sickle, and it actually has a little bit of gold in it, um, so I'm going to put this one on now. This one is really pretty. It also smells good and tastes good. Like, really sweet. Almost a little too sweet. Like, I don't really want to be able to taste my lip products, but whatever. It also has some shine to it. It's got like a little bit of gold. I wouldn't call it glitter, but like iridescence within the lipstick, so that's pretty cool. Now, another one of my all-time favorites. This is uh, the Burt's Bees Lip Crayon in Napa Vineyard. I love this red. I feel like it really suits me in particular. They made it for me. No, just kidding. It just looks good on me, I think. Ah, there she is, guys. I'm so glad I found this one. This is really one of my favorite reds. It's, like, just dark enough, in my opinion, and, like, deep enough for me. Love it. Okay, now another red. This is the NYX Soft Lip Cream in Monte Carlo. I really love this one too, and this one is really cool because it's buildable, like you can do one layer and then let it completely dry, and then do another layer and it'll be darker, um, and you can do as many layers as you want, and it can build up to be like a really, really deep and intense red. I think I'll wait and do just one more layer of this just because I've got other lipsticks to try today. Here it is built up with two layers. It looks almost the same, but I promise it's a little bit deeper. Next is another all-time favorite, the NYX Matte Lipstick in Siren. This is a perfect, like, deeper red for my skin tone and, like, preferences, in my opinion. Um, I just think this particular red looks really good on me. Oh, I love this color. It's such a good, like, vampy red. My lips are going to be so exfoliated. Now moving into purples, yet another favorite. This is the NYX Matte Lipstick in the shade Aria. There's how this one looks. Again, one of my favorites. Really pretty dark purple, but not too purple, you know? Okay, next up is this Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in the shade Shameless. Here's how that purple looks. Again, I love this one. This is one of my favorites to wear when it rains. For some reason, I love wearing dark purple lipstick when it rains. And this is a go-to. And it smells good, and it feels really nice on your lips, too. Okay, the last purple that I'm going to try on is this one by MAC called Pure Heroin, which was the collaboration one with Lord. For some reason, when this came out, I just, like, had to have it. I don't even, like, like Lord's music that much, and I didn't at the time, but I just thought, like, this was the best color, so I just wanted to grab it. Here's how this one looks. It's a much more glossy type of lipstick, and it's not matte. Um, and also, sorry for my, uh, sloppy lip edges. Uh, it's getting harder and harder to put these on and be, like, focused on getting them perfect. Okay, now my NYX Wicked lipsticks. Look at those. Those are so fun. Okay, I'm gonna start by putting on this one. Here is that one. It is called Scandalous. So fun and so pretty. I really like this one. I've actually worn this one quite a few times, believe it or not. Okay, next I'm going to put on this awesome metallic green one called Risqué. I really love this one. I feel really weirdly glamorous in it, in this, like, metallic green. It's just so fun. And now here's the last one of these that I have, which is this dark blue called Sinful. Here's how this one looks. It's really awesome, and this one is super opaque and really easy to get on being, like, full force, which is really great. Really great. Okay, well, the last two that I pulled out to try on are these NYX 
liquid suede cream lipsticks that I decided I would do the ombre lip with, so I will do that. Let's see, these are called Jet Set and Little Denim Dress. I'm going to start by taking a little lip brush with some of the darker blue called Jet Set on it, and I'll do the outermost parts of my lips, and then I'll blend the lighter one in the middle. Okay, here's that ombre. I forgot that these can be a little bit patchy, um, and they also dry pretty quickly, so you have to work kind of fast. And I built up like multiple layers of the colors and then blended them together, and then built up more layers and then blended them together um, to get them to be vibrant and not kind of patchy. But it's totally doable, and it's really fun, and um, if you spend a little bit more time on it than I did, then you can definitely get it to look better. But I think this is good enough, and it's super fun. I've worn lips like this to a couple parties and it's always like a totally conversation starter so good tip if you want to go looking fresh. Okay well now that I have these all organized I think I can better go through them to decide which ones to get rid of because uh, as you might have seen I have like eight different shades that are exactly the same in each range of like purple through red and pink. Like they all look the same even though I have so many of them so now I can actually go through and decide which ones to get rid of. But I had a lot of fun filming this video. It was fun to like lay them all on the ground and organize them and kind of like pick ones up and talk about them as I went. I really enjoyed it. If there were any lipsticks that were in this video today, whether I talked about them or not, that you'd like me to do a video with or use in some way, just let me know and I can totally do that. If you like this video and want to see more from me, then please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can see my other videos. And I think that's all, so thank you so much for hanging out with me while I went through my lipsticks and tried them on a little bit. And I will see you in my next video. Have a good day and bye!